all our members of county assembly have paid their dues, their monthly dues to the party. And this is what enables us is what enables us to be able to run programs such as the ones that we are running. So mjipigie makofi. Na vile Ogada amesema kama kuna haki yenu ingine inatakiwa mupati. Kwa sababu mimi kama katibu wenu najua mukipata nimepata. Kwa <laughs> hivyo tutawaunga mkono kwa hiyo azma yenu ya kupata haki yenu. Watu huwa wazungumzii ule mzigo ambao nyinyi kama grassroots leaders mnabeba. Mumetufunika uchi wetu sana pale chini mashinani. Kila panapotokea lolote mtu wa kwanza kutafutwa ni MCA. Iwe ni harusi, iwe ni matanga, iwe ni birthday, iwe ni kupeleke watoto shule, kila kitu tunajua ule mzigo ambao mmebeba hapa. Na wengine wanataka kukompea viongozi MCAs wa hapa Kenya na mataifa mengine. We ukiniambia MCA wa Norway halipwi pesa. Huyo wa Norway anazika watu. Huyo wa Norway anaenda birthday za watoto yeye ndiye analipa. Huyo wa Norway yeye anatarajiwa kuwa yeye anapeleka watoto shule. We must get this country to a place where it provides for its people so that the burden on leaders is actually reduced. Kwa hivyo mtu msione aibu. Msione aibu hata kidogo kwa sababu mnajua ile kazi ambayo mnafanya pale mashinani. Jambo la pili kama chama kuna mipango ambayo sasa tumeanzisha tulikuwa na mkutano wa baraza kuu la chama hivi karibuni na tukarisolve ya kwamba sasa chama cha ODM kinaanza safari ya mwaka wa 2022 tumekuwa hapa nyuma tikuwaelezea kwamba ni wakati wa kufanya kazi si ni kweli wenzetu wamekuwa wakipiga densi peke yao they were on the dance floor alone sasa walikuwa wanajiona wao ndio wanajua ku dance sana kidogo baba ameingia tu kanisa moja wameanza kusema sasa wanasiasa watakikani kwa kumakanisa wameanza kusema hatutaki siasa kwa mazishi na wao wamekuwa kipiga siasa miaka mitatu this sort of hypocrisy ndio kitu ambayo tunataka kukataa sasa ODM lazima ijiweke tayari kwa ajili ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 2022 na tayari central committee imempea chairperson wa, wa NEB eh, mheshimiwa Catherine Muma go ahead ya kujaza mapengo katika leadership ya chama yaliyopo kuanzia juu mpaka pale chini mashinani na mtapata nafasi ya kuzungumzia hayo maneno pia nyinyi mimi kama SG wenu i will be failing in my duty if i did not put you as members and leaders of ODM on notice that we are officially at war that war we did not start it that war has been brought to our doorstep i want to tell you that we are at war we have repeatedly called on the DCI and the NCIC to take steps to tame the people who want to bring violence in this country you have seen leaders from the other side going into places inciting leaders ahead of the visit by our party leader and you saw what they did in Gidurai simuliona mpaka wa leo hakuna hatua ambayo imechukuliwa dhidi ya mheshimiwa Isaac Mwaura kwa matamshi yake na kuwatupia wafuasi wa chama cha ODM mawe kule Gidurai. Hawa watu wa DCI na NCIC huwa wananyamaza tu. Utasikia viongozi wanatupia party leader wetu matusi, wanatutusi sisi lakini hawachukui hatua yoyote. Siku ile sifuna atasimama arudishe matusi ndio wanatuita wanasema sasa wanawaita nyinyi wote. That hypocrisy we want to condemn it in the strongest terms. Do not wait for us to take the law into our own hands for you to enforce the law. Sasa kwa sababu wameanza ubaya. Nyinyi kama viongozi wa chama mkae mkijua wakati wowote you can be attacked by these maniacs. And you must take steps to defend yourself. Self defense is not a crime. It is actually allowed under the law. Kwa hivyo sasa vile rais alisema wakirusha tutarusha. Kama ni ngumi iwe ni ngumi sasa kama ni mateke iwe ni mateke kwa sababu hatuwezi kukaa pale tunapigwa tu sisi nikana kwamba sisi hatuna uwezo wa kujitetea sisi wenyewe kwa hivyo mkae e, rada kabisa e, kama arati jamaa <laughs> e, unaweza kuwa unaongea hivi unasikia mtu ameruka kwenye jukwaa hapa lazima utayarishe kumrudisha chini na teke e. 
We want to ask DCI and NCIC that if you don't want this thing to escalate and get out of control, take action on Honorable Maura, take action on Honorable Soro, who assaulted a, a fellow member of parliament yesterday in Kisi, live in front of a live audience. Otherwise, this thing will get out of hand. Jambo lingine. Mweshimua Prime Minister, sisi tunaunga mkono 100%. Handshake yako na mweshimua uru kenyata. Kama chama. We have carried the duty of defending this BBI like it was a baby. Wakati Herode ya metua Amri kwamba huyu mtoto wa uliwe, ni chama cha UDM ambacho kime mzingira huyu mtoto ambaye na ito BBI. Mpaka amefika sasa mahali ambapo amefika. Tulikuwa tume waambia kwanzia mwanzo kwamba mambo ya handshake si kuhakikisha kwamba wana ODM wameingia ndani ya serikali wakasema o ni mambo ya 2022 tumechukua muda huu wote kuwaelezea kwamba hiyo handshake haikuwa na mambo ya 2022 mheshimiwa rais mwenyewe amekariri akasema ya kwamba hakuna siku moja prime minister Raila Odinga amemuuliza eti aingize watu wake katika serikali hakuna siku hata moja rais mwenyewe amekiri Raila amemuuliza mambo ya 2022. Kwa hivyo ile nuksi na fitna iliyoko ndani ya chama cha Jubilee sisi hatuna lolote kufanya na nuksi hiyo. Rais mwenyewe amewaelezea chanzo cha mzozo ulioko ndani ya hicho chama ni nini. Wamese alituambia yeye mwenyewe Bomas yule rafiki yake badala angoje pale mwisho aletewe baton yeye alianza kukimbia kirudi nyuma. Si Rais alituambia sasa waache kutuingiza sisi wana ODM kwa shida zao. The biggest problem in Jubilee is Jubilee itself. The leaders must look into the mirror to find the solutions of the problems. Waachane na chama cha ODM. Sisi tuna mambo yetu na tunapanga kazi kuendelea mbele kama chama. Hii BBI tumefika hapa hii leo. Signatures imechukuliwa Kenya nzima zaidi ya milioni 5. Wanasema BBI is not popular. Nyinyi viongozi simtuambie huko mashinani signature mlipata hamkupata. Mulipata hamukupata. Kama tulipata signature zaidi ya milioni tano. Inamanisha of those five million people, inaitaji mtu, kila mmoja alete tu mtu mwingine mmoja. Na hii BBI itakue mipita. Sinikweni. Kwa hivyo hata huu mkutano ambao tukonawa hapa, tuko na experts wale ambao walishiriki hata kuandika huo mswada. Tunataka tuwaeleze kwa kipole, kwa kipole, ili iwe dhahiri kwamba uongo ambao umeenezwa dhidi ya hii BBI. Lazima ujitenge wakati ukweli utajulikana. So that munapoenda katika assembly zenu, muwe na debate ambayo ni informed position. Kwa sababu, watawafuata huko kwenye assembly zenu. Kuja na hiyo porojo, akija unamuliza ni kipenge gani kwa hii bill, which is this one clause ambayo tukipitisha BBI, itakikisha kwamba Raila na kuwa automatic president. Tuonyeshe. Kwa hivyo, hiyo porojo yote lazima yelezewe. Ya mwisho, president alisema ya kwamba kwa ajili ya amani nchi hii, lazima kila jamii pate na fasi ya kuongoza taifa hile tula Kenya. Mimi kama katibu wenu, nataka kukonfirm kwamba hapo ndiyo tuko sisi kama wana ODF. Na kitu ambacho najua ni kwamba kuna chama kimoja peke yake. Ambacho hata tukiwachiwa hiyo assignment tuambiwe sasa hii chama Ndiyo takuwa ya kurotate hiyo presidency Chama moja peke yake hiki enya ndiyo hiko na capacity ya kufanya hiyo kitu Wakitaka mutu ya nyamira tutawapatia rene yako hapo Wakitaka mutu kutoka kuale mrembo hanifa yuko pale tutampea Wakitaka mutu kutoka garisa tukona watu kutoka garisa Hiki ndicho chama peke yake ambacho kinajumuisha wa Kenya wote Kwa hivyo sisi tunaunga hiyo mkono Tunasema kama vijana wa Nairobi kiti yende chain chain Munajua hiyo? E, watu ya Nairobi wanajua hiyo. Kiti yende chenche. So, mwishimu wa rais, wetu, we usiwe na wasiwasi, kama vikusi vyako vya chama, tuko tayari kufanya kazi ambayo yiko hapa mbele. Kwa hayo mengi, nataka ni chukwe fusa hii, e, nimeambiwa kwamba yule rais wa vijana wa shule hii yuko hapa. Yuko hapa ibu wanaubiru. Wacha tusalimie kisha ntamualika e, uduro nguenu, ambaye atatuitia wale experts watatupeleka through hiyo bill hakikisha kwamba kila mtu wako na nakala yake ya hiyo bill tunataka leo ukweli ujulikane ni kipi kilichomo na kipi hakiko mlendani
Karibu sana bwana Obero tutakupa dakika moja utukaribishe katika chuo chuki kucheni.